We're going to enter one more item into this bib file and this time we're going to use a template that Tech Studio provides for us. We've been copying these things over from the website but all along Tech Studio has had a set of templates ready for us to use. The reason why I didn't use them straight away is that they're not as clean as the templates that were copied from the website. So you find Tech Studio's templates up inside the bibliography menu. Click on that and a list of possible templates comes up. I'm going to enter another book. In fact, I'm going to enter in Stuart, the main text that's used here at Rhodes for Calc 1, Calc 2. And notice the way that the template comes up. It's helpful to know what each of the field entries is supposed to be, although I don't think it's really necessary to tell us again because I think the field name makes it clear what I'm supposed to type into each position. And Tech Studio doesn't use the principle of percent signs to indicate that something's an optional argument. It actually changes the name by putting capital letters in front of the um, field name. For example, series here starts off with OPT, presumably standing for optional, and it's the OPT that I have to delete, not just a single percent sign. There's also in front of author and editor, there's ALT, which I believe stands for alternate, and that's because the book entry you can either give an author or an editor, or in some cases you can give both. This is to cover the situation where you have a book that's a collection of articles by many different authors, and then it's traditional or typical to give the editor of that book as the main person rather than author or, or authors. Um, this is the one advantage that Tech Studio has over the templates copied from the website. When we copied over the book from the website, we only got author, which didn't allow you to realize, unless you had read the page, uh, you know, you'd read all the notes on that page very carefully, you wouldn't have realized that author can be replaced with editor. Okay, so the book I'm going to enter, as I said, is Stuart, and I have it set up in a web page, or so I've got a web page set up showing the book, and I'll copy the title. I'm starting each time with a title. I don't have to, it's just the way my mind works. So I see title field here. I'll now replace where Tech Studio's written title with the actual title. I'll look through it to check that it's copied over correctly. And yes, this time it has. There's nothing for me to alter there. And I do have an author. I believe it's James Stewart, but I'm not sure if it's an initial. No, James Stewart doesn't have initials. So the way that I'll enter the author, and so it's in, I have to remove the ALT from author, not from editor. I'll leave that alone. I have to delete the word author and replace it with Stuart, comma, James. And the publisher, I think, is Thomas. Does it not tell me? Yes, it does. Publisher. given here as that, so that's what we'll copy in. And the year of the book is 2007. And because it's a textbook, I should give the edition. Usually for a book it's not so important, but for a textbook it is critically important. And it's six. Here's the sixth edition. And I now have entered everything except the nickname. And again, I'm going to be 
undisciplined about this and just call it steward. And now I have entered a book using Tech Studio's templates and of course as you saw as I brought up the menu it has lots more templates up there. They all have the features that I've demonstrated to you here.